Hey everyone and welcome. Now, if you're a developer or you just keep an eye on the world of tech, you know that the tools we use are always changing. But underneath all that noise, something much, much bigger is happening. A huge transformation is underway. The very foundations of the software we rely on every single day are shifting. And today, we're going to pull back the curtain and uncover the one powerful idea that's driving it all. All right, so here's how we're going to tackle this. First, we'll uncover the hidden story behind all these software upgrades. Then, we're going to look at two huge examples of this in action, what I'm calling a language takeover and a database coup. And finally, we'll put all the pieces together to really understand what this flight to safety means for all of us. You know, when you see a hot new programming language or database pop up, it's really easy to just write it off as hype, right? Or maybe a few cool new features. But what's actually happening is so much deeper. There's this fundamental principle at work, an unseen force that's completely reshaping the tools we use to build the modern world. And that brings us to the big mystery we're really here to solve today. Why is this happening? Why are these foundational bedrock tools of the web being quietly swapped out? I can tell you it is not random. It is a direct response to one single incredibly powerful cause. And here it is. The one thing driving all of this is the absolutely massive increase in how complex our applications have become. You know, we're not building simple little websites anymore. Today's apps are these incredibly sophisticated systems woven together from dozens of different services and complex data pipelines. And that explosion in complexity, well, it changes everything. So to really see this principle in action, let's look at our first case study. And we're starting at the most fundamental level of web development there is, the programming language itself. This is the story of how a language called TypeScript quietly staged a complete coup in the world of JavaScript. And the proof of this takeover? It's right here in the numbers, and they are undeniable. Just look at this growth. Back in 2017, only about 12% of developers were even using TypeScript. You fast forward to today, and that number has just exploded to nearly 40%. This is not just some fad. This is a mass migration. So what's the secret? What's behind TypeScript's incredible rise? Well, the answer comes down to a core computer science idea called static typing. The easiest way to think about it is like a safety net for your code. It's a system that checks your work before you ship it out to the world. It analyzes your code to make sure you're not, say, accidentally trying to do math on a word. It catches entire categories of bugs right there in your editor before they ever have a chance to escape and cause problems for real users. And this slide really nails the crucial difference. With JavaScript's dynamic approach, you get a ton of flexibility, but the price you pay is that you often find mistakes only when a user calls you up to say the app has crashed. But with TypeScript's static system, yeah, it's stricter, but errors are caught by the developer before the code ever ships. It's literally the difference between having a fire drill and dealing with an actual fire. And this really gets to the core of why now. See, in the early days of the web, JavaScript's freewheeling flexibility was a feature. It let you move fast. But as applications ballooned into these massive million-line code bases that entire teams had to work on, that same flexibility became a huge weakness. It just made it way too easy to introduce these subtle, hard-to-find bugs. TypeScript came along and offered the safety and the structure that was desperately needed to manage this new scale of complexity. Okay, so now let's watch this exact same pattern play out in another critical part of the tech stack, the database. For years and years, one database absolutely reigned supreme. But a quiet coup was already brewing just beneath the surface. And just look at these numbers. They prove the regime change is now complete. A staggering 49%, almost half, of developers now use PostgreSQL. It has officially dethroned the long-reigning king, MySQL, as the number one most used database. So how on earth did this happen? Well, it's because these two databases were built with completely different philosophies for two totally different eras of the web. MySQL was designed for that early, simpler Web 2.0 world. Its whole goal was speed and ease of use, a good enough approach. PostgreSQL, on the other hand, always, from day one, prioritized strict standards, extensibility, and above all, data integrity. It wasn't built for speed at all costs. It was built to be robust. And it turns out that those foundational priorities, that focus on robustness and integrity, are exactly what modern, complex applications desperately need. Postgres's richer data types are a game changer for today's API-driven apps. Its radical extensibility means it's not just a database anymore. It's a whole data platform you can build on and its advanced features for analytics and high reliability, well, those aren't just nice-to-haves anymore. 
they are mission critical requirements. Okay, so we've seen a language takeover with TypeScript and a database queue with PostgreSQL, both of them driven by the exact same underlying force. So now let's tie these two incredible stories together to reveal the one unifying idea that explains both of these trends and really signals a major shift in the entire software industry. The common thread here, the one big idea, is this. Developers are making a conscious, deliberate trade-off. They are choosing tools that prioritize safety and robustness over the raw speed and flexibility of the older tools. This, this is the flight to safety, and it's a direct result of the crushing complexity of the software we're all trying to build today. And this is so crucial. This isn't about saying TypeScript is just better than JavaScript or Postgres is better than MySQL in some abstract way. It's about choosing the right tool for the job. And the job has changed. We're now in an era of massive complexity. This whole shift, it really signals a maturation of our entire industry. It's a move away from just scripting and hacking things together and a move towards a much more robust, predictable engineering discipline. Which leaves us with one final pretty provocative thought to chew on. We've seen this pattern play out in our languages and in our databases. This flight to safety is an ongoing reaction to ever-increasing complexity. So the real question is, as our systems inevitably get even more complex, where is this going to happen next? What foundational tool that we all rely on is the next in line for its own quiet revolution? Thanks so much for joining me.